Good morning, guys. I just woke up and I didn't go to practice this morning. But let me tell you why. So I didn't go because I was kind of mad. I took some Latin at like 1 hoping that by 1.30 it will work but I ended up I don't even know how to look at the clock and it was 3 in the morning and I still kinda was awake you know those nights where you're not sure that you're sleeping but you are and then it was all it was 3 already and I was looking at it what is happening with my GoPro? Did you just see that? I think somebody's controlling my GoPro, honestly. Because that's where this society is going towards. Somebody controlling everything that you do and everything that you own. Anyways. Uh, yeah. So, I didn't go in the morning this morning, but it's not that big of a deal. I only have one practice today, and I'll do it in the afternoon. It's just that I missed the time that my coach could have timed me and look at me and correct my strokes. But I'll do it alone. It's fine. And today we're talking about my sleep schedule. So as you can see, it's crazy. Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to the clumsiest world of Paul. So I'm just trying to make the most basic breakfast. It's bread with butter. I'm gonna add some salt and I'm gonna make a salad next to it. And I wanted to add some feta cheese. And look what I do. Just drops on the floor. Okay, so back to my sleep schedule. Keep in mind, I've been doing this since high school. I started taking naps because I couldn't deal with going to practice in the morning and then straight to school and then straight back to practice. So I kind of started, this is bad, but I kind of started skipping school just to take naps and to make sure I get my rest in between practices. I didn't used to skip like a lot of school, but enough to get me in trouble. I'll tell you that much. And yeah, but I started sleeping like an hour to two hours in the afternoons and when I would wake up, I would be more tired. Because that's what probably happens to everybody that starts napping all of a sudden. They just get way too tired. And that, that's not good. So, after a while, I started getting used to it. And I saw that it was working so much better with my double practices, right? I was able to sustain that for way longer. Because I wasn't, I kind of like hit reset, right? After a morning workout at like 6 in the morning, I went to bed. And it's kind of like a reset button. So then, by the end of high school, I was already a master at it. And I started like sleeping around like 3 or 4 hours. And ever since then, that's how I built my schedule around my naps. It's kind of funny when I say it out loud, but it's true, you know. The light should be good here by our basil plant. I added some of it in my salad this morning, just letting you know. But yeah, when I got to college, it was a little bit more challenging to keep that schedule with the classes, homework that I had to do, and then double practices, and sometimes weights as well. But, you know, sometimes you have to skip school, Sometimes you get a free day off and it all works out, you know. And another big factor why I started napping is because all of your coaches say, oh yeah, you should go to bed at 8 or 9. Oh, latest should be 10. If I catch you, I'm gonna la 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 punish you and I'll give you this set and all that. Hey, I'm gonna cover you if you don't shut up. I'm just telling you. 
Anyways, um, but that way I could go to bed later, right? And not be, um, not feel it the next day. So I started going to bed at like 12. And it was also for myself as well. I don't want to go as a teenager and then as a college student, I don't want to go to bed at 10. I'll go to bed at 10 when I'm a, an adult and I have kids and I have responsibilities and all that. But for now, when I'm an athlete, I mean, if this works. But lately I've been going to bed at two and because I have to wake up at six, that's four hours. It wouldn't be a problem, but I come back and it takes me like 30 minutes to come back. So I swim seven to nine and then I'm back at 930. I eat and make food until like 1030. It's already 11 and I have to wake up at 130. So 11, 12, 1, it's only two and a half, let's say, I make it three hours sometimes. But that's really hard. And that's not enough sleep, that's seven hours. So it's kind of catching up with me. That's why I skipped this morning. But I'll get back on track. There's also a meet this Friday, so competition. And I'm racing as well. I'm just... I'm going to be coaching, but I need a race as well for myself. So that's another reason why this morning was like, mm, I don't know. But it's good because it actually fits with this vlog. As we talk about it, I'm being lazy. <laughs> no, but a lot of people used to ask me questions on like why I do it and how does it work? And it's just fairly easy, man. You just go to bed whenever you feel like at night, when you're done playing. <laughs> when you wake up, and it depends on how tired you are, you go to your class, you don't go to your class, and then you come home, you sleep two, three, four hours, depends on how much time you have, you know? And then the next night, if you had two hours of sleep in the afternoon, and you're too tired, then you're gonna feel it, and you're gonna go to bed earlier. If not, you're gonna go to bed again, late and whenever you feel like it. So it's a pretty easy system, right? The only bad part about it is the actually sk skipping school part. And you know what? Are you... But it's the sacrifices. As we talked about in the other vlog the other day, you have to make sacrifices. If you want something to go the way that you want it to, you need to put in all your effort and all your energy, right? So napping has also helped me adjust to time zones. For example, we travel a lot with the swim team and it was so much easier for me to adjust my sleep based on the time zone that I was in because it's like four hours and four hours or six hours and four hours or so it's very easy to adapt, you know? It's like 18 Celsius outside, and I need to wear this like What did you just say? So let me be clear, guys. I'm not saying you should be skipping school. No. I'm not saying this is good for you to skip school. No. All I'm saying is this is what I've done, this is what worked for me, and now you have it, you can do whatever you want with this information. But I'm not responsible for anything. Yeah, so I just realized I really, all this video is just me rambling about how I'm a princess and how I sleep and I've even been called that, that's my nickname around. Uh, lately, <laughs> yeah, everybody's like, oh yeah, what's up princess, did you have your afternoon nap? Yes, I did. <laughs> Anyways, until my next video, keep playing the game. <laughs>